Hey, what's up everyone? Simeon Krosky back with another video. And today we is going to be another controversial topic, and that is going to be COVID-19 in the military. Now, a lot of you have been asking for this specific topic, so I just thought I might as well deliver. So um, throughout this video, we're going to be going through a specific timeline from when I joined the Marine Corps until now, how things have changed because of COVID-19. Um, so I really hope you all enjoy this video and you'll get the information you are seeking, okay? Um, but before I get straight into that, um, I'm gonna talk about how this channel is gonna operate from now on. So the plan is to post every Saturday, but for the times that I'm not able to post on Saturday, I'm gonna be trying to post on Wednesday the following week, and that way I have two posts the following week in order to fill that gap. Um, but there's no promises, things happen. Um, there's times where I can't film or I'm really busy, so um, I can't promise anything, but that's how the schedule is going to try to be from now on. So turn on your post notifications. Keep Wednesday and Saturday in mind because those are going to be the days that posts are going to happen, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, also, if you have any ideas for videos, um, keep commenting, to them, commenting them down uh, down below on my YouTube videos. Um, I like to scroll through my YouTube and see if anyone has ideas and then add them to the list that I have, okay? So um, I'm always looking for ideas like that. If you don't already have me on Snapchat, Instagram, um, it's at Simeon underscore Karoski. Um, so you can go ahead and follow me there. Go ahead and shoot me a text, shoot me a DM about a video you, a video crest you have, and then I'll go ahead and add those to my list as well, okay? So thank you very much. And... Let's go ahead and dive right into this video, okay? So let's get to the important part of the video, the part that y'all came for, and that's going to be the timeline from when I joined the Marine Corps um, to now and how COVID-19 has operated since then. So um, a lot of people get surprised when I tell them that the time I joined the Marine Corps, from the time I've joined the Marine Corps, I've never been able to experience the Marine Corps without COVID. And it's it's really insane looking back and realizing that I've only experienced COVID in the Marine Corps. Um, I've been in for just over two years. And when I first joined in December, 2019, when I left to boot camp, getting ready to, um, getting ready to ship out, everything was normal. There was no masks, no COVID-19. Um, no one was talking about it at the time. So um, then I joined boot camp, go through boot camp. It's not like how it was now. I didn't have, um, there was no one wearing masks. Boot cam was just normal. There was, there was nothing different about it, no six feet. Everything was the same, how it used to always operate, okay? Um, but then towards the end of boot camp, like right at graduation, it was really late when it came down to like the 13 weeks. Um, we started to hear like rumors about, um, about COVID-19 but it was really all the way towards the end, like when we were about to meet our family and all that. So um, what happened was, I remember my drill instructors, it was really weird. Um, they gave us each these little slips, these little cards, and it said uh, COVID-19 or something like that. I forgot what it specifically was. I didn't really pay that much attention to it, um, but they said, hey, there's a disease going around. Um, there's a sickness going around. Um, just wash your hands. Um, be careful, it's spreading a lot. So it was, I guess, brand new at the time when I finished boot camp, because I was completely separated from society, so I didn't really know what was going on um, over those last three months. And then what happened is I was hearing that the next company um, that was graduating at after us, an India company, we were Echo Company, the next one that was graduating wasn't going to be able to have family at their graduation, I believe. Um, they went on boot leave, but they weren't able to have family visit their graduation. So a lot of people were bummed out of that, bummed out about that. Like that's one of the biggest moments is being able to see your family after boot camp. And then those guys were hearing that their family wasn't going to be able to attend. And then the following company after that, which I think was Delta, um, they ended up not being able to see their family at graduation or go on boot leave. And then from that point on, um, boot leave was canceled. So it was a really awkward situation. And I remember going back on boot leave after graduation and going to the grocery stores and stuff like that. 
and noticing that there was no toilet paper, there was no hand sanitizer, and that people were acting a little bit weird and like freaking out about this situation with COVID-19. Um, so I thought it was really weird, um, but I didn't really know what to think about it because I was just fresh out of boot camp. And then after my boot leave, went back on MCT. Um, and then this is when things really changed. This is when things really went kind of crazy is when I went to MCT, once we got into um, our squad bay, um, they announced that we were not gonna be able to leave our squad bay. We'd be on two weeks quarantine um, and that we weren't gonna be able to go outside at all. So we had to just stick to the squad bay with uh, 40 other people or whatever. I forgot how many people um, each deck had at MCT, but we weren't gonna be able to leave and we were stuck with all those people. So um, two week period, we weren't really getting that much information. We didn't have our phones or anything like that. Um, typically how MCT is supposed to be. We didn't have our phones, so we weren't able to like actually figure out what was going on. So um, it was it was really confusing and we, we didn't know if things were really bad, if it was just kind of a joke or it wasn't even that serious. So half of MCT was taken away by that quarantine period, which MCT is supposed to be about a month. And two weeks of that was just the quarantine period. So um, that happened. And then finally, when we were able to actually start our MCT training, um, Marine combat training, finally, when we were able to start, um, everything was kind of crammed in two weeks and a lot of events were missed. Um, but then that's when something else changed and then masks became implemented. So um, at first there was no mask and all of a sudden they're like, hey, you gotta wear these masks everywhere you go. And we didn't have masks. There were masks around like this, obviously. So what they had us do was get a skibby shirt, which is what we typically wear. And they had us take our skibby shirts off during training. It like, it happened in a split second that everything changed. They had us take off our blouses and it, given it's all, it's all male MCT um, for my company. Um, they had us all take off our blouses, take off our skibby shirts underneath and use them as face masks like this. And then use this, they had us use the sleeves to tie it. So they had us like this, this the whole time. And it was just confusing how everything was going on. So we took off our skivvy shirts, put those on, put our blouses back on. But apparently like, I guess the Marine Corps order for like masks had just changed at that time during my MCT. Um, and then over time, like it, it switched to, we would clip um, just the sleeve off. We like cut a sleeve off of just one of our skivvy shirts. And then we would put that over um, as our mask, but at first it was required that we do three layers of the skivvy shirt rolling it over as our mask um, And then imagine like being not being used to that and then all of a sudden you're hiking uh, You're doing 15k hikes and you're wearing that You're wearing that as a mask and people constantly telling you put your mask back on and that it was just a crazy little, it was just a crazy event that was just reoccurring over and over and things were just kind of unexplained. And then I went from MCT, I went to MOS school and that's where things continued to kind of progressively get a little worse um, because COVID-19 was starting to spread a lot more. So um, whenever I went to Pensacola, which is my earlier videos, uh, we, we had to wear masks all the time too. Um, throughout that entire period. We weren't able to go off base. Um, so we were restricted to just Pensacola. We couldn't go off base, uh, go out in town or anything on the weekends. We had to stay on base at all times. So um, when previous previously, everyone else that had gone to Pensacola was able to go off base, have fun on the weekends and stuff like that. Um, we were not able to. And then I went over to um, Eglin Air Force Base in Destin, Florida for my C school. And then the same thing was happening there. Still had to wear your mask, um, couldn't go off base as well. So throughout my entire school period, even though I enjoyed those times, um, I couldn't go off base and actually explore anything like that. And then I ended up hitting the fleet and going to Yuma, Arizona. 
and then straight into the fleet whenever I got uh, got on base off the plane we were me and my roommate were put into this room um, for a I think the normal uh, quarantine period was two weeks at the time so we got put in quarantine straight away in two weeks before we saw anyone else and then it was just a constant throughout that time in the fleet um, the mask masks were still implemented all that type of stuff and um, anytime anyone would get sick they would automatically put into a two-week quarantine period and then everyone that was getting exposed to them would also get put into a two-week quarantine period um, but you can only imagine um, for being like a new marine that would be kind of it's just weird to experience that and a lot of people like that have been watching this channel that are uh, that are COVID Marines as well, have only joined during COVID and went through that stuff in boot camp. Um, this is all they know. So, um, but I, all the people around me were like, dude, you never got to experience the time where you actually could go off base during school and have fun and actually ha not have to deal with all the masks and stuff like that and all this uh, spreading of COVID. And they said it's just completely different than how the Marine Corps used to operate. So um, all that stuff was happening. And then it started to really become discouraging later on when um, they started they started pushing out the vaccine and then I was let known that I would not be able to deploy if I did not get the uh, the COVID-19 vaccine. Now at the time I didn't want the vaccine. Um, I didn't think it was really necessary um, for me personally, just my opinion um, to get the vaccine. And um, so I decided that I wasn't gonna get it, I wasn't gonna go on deployment. And then later it was also implemented again that it was mandatory for all Marines to get the COVID-19 vaccine unless for a religious exemption or um, administration or medical exemption. So um, that was the only case you could somewhat get out of it. And it became mandatory and then I got orders to get my shot um, not that long after that I had to report and get the shot in order to stay in the Marine Corps, otherwise I would be kicked out. And then a lot of other people I knew um, were getting kicked out as well. So many different people were getting uh, removed from the Marine Corps because they were refusing the vaccine. So the moral of the story with this is a lot of y'all were wondering, hey, I see it all the time in the comments. Should I join the Marine Corps if I don't want to get the vaccine? Can, is there a way I can get out of it? Um, I don't know. You can talk to your recruiter, see if you can get a uh, religious exemption, um, see if you can get some sort of exemption to get out of it. But at the same time, I want you to join the Marine Corps with the thought that you are probably going to have to get it. That I don't want you to be discouraged if you have to get some sort of mandatory shot or vaccine because it, it could happen, you know? Um, I got the vaccine because I didn't want to get out of the Marine Corps. I wanted to stay in the Marine Corps. I wanted to have a full Marine Corps experience and I still wanted it to be a part of my career and I enjoy it. So that was my decision of doing it. I was not ready to leave the Marine Corps. So, but for you, if you don't want the vaccine, you should really think hard and long about it because you could end up joining and being like, oh, I have this exemption. I want to do this exemption. And then all of a sudden they're like, no, you have to get the vaccine or maybe you got through without it. And then, then the booster becomes mandatory. You just never know. That's why I'm saying you need to go into the Marine Corps uh, with the expectations that you are going to have to get it. Okay. So that's just my advice for you. None of this information um, that I'm giving you directly represents the Department of Defense or the Marine Corps or the military in general. This is just my story going from start to finish. I've never experienced anything outside of COVID in the Marine Corps, and I hope I be, will be able to. I hope it clears up. Um, but for now, that's just how it goes. It's how the Marine Corps is dealing with it to prevent people um, from giving, getting COVID-19 and trying to cut down um, the amount of people getting COVID-19 um, and mitigate that. Um, same thing that's happened in the civilian world. They're trying to cut down on it and all that, but 
it's just it's just the reality of the matter and it's just something we have to deal with but anyways i hope you all enjoyed the video i hope you'll have a wonderful week and i'll see y'all next time just continue to start putting your requests down in the comment section and let me know what other videos you want to see i hope you all enjoyed it and have a great week